deadly crash near 60th and Burnham in West Dallas at about 12:30 a.m. Police say a 20 year old man driving a Pontiac ran a red light, hitting a Jeep, injuring that driver and two other pedestrians. An 18 year old passenger in the Pontiac also died. Family identifying that 18 year old as Marixa Valle Zapeta. The family shared this picture with 12 News and set up a GoFundMe to raise money for her funeral. You can find a link in this story on WISN.com. And tonight, 12 News' is Gabriela Garza shows us the scene and the aftermath of that crash that resulted in her death. Well, overnight, this intersection is shut down as police and paramedics worked this fatal crash here. Right now, you can see the damage left over the traffic light coming down, shoes, a bunch of glass just shattered across this area. Now, West Alice police was called out to the scene around 1230 Sunday morning. Take a look at these two cars with severe damage that crashed near this corner. Police say a Pontiac driven by a 20 year old man was driving eastbound on Burnham when they ran a red light and T boned a Jeep driven by an 18 year old woman that was heading south on 60th Street. That crash caused the cars to go off road, hitting two pedestrians, a 50 and 53 year old man, both taken to the hospital. Police say speed and impairment are suspected to be factors in this crash. Unfortunately, police say the passenger inside the Pontiac, an 18 year old woman from Milwaukee, was killed. Her friends and family leaving a memorial in her honor near the crash site. Police say that the 20 year old driver of the Pontiac was taken to the hospital and is under arrest for suspicion of homicide by intoxicated use of a motor vehicle. This crash remains under investigation in West Alice. Gabriela Garza, WISN 12 News.